All right, today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on how to replace the hybrid battery on a 2003 to 2005 Honda Civic hybrid. All right, hybrid battery, big boy, 71 pounds. Um, these are the following tools you will be needing. You'll be needing a T30. Well, you should probably get a special uh, bit case if you don't already have one. But you're gonna be using a T30 uh, bit. Looks just like that. You can have a, uh, you know, cordless gun or whatever to help you uh, remove some of the uh, screws you'll be removing for the uh, battery cover. A little bowl to hold all your screws in. You'll need a six inch extension with a 10 millimeter socket, flat nose screwdriver, and then a 12 inch, or eight inch or 12 inch longer um, extension with a 12 millimeter um, socket. And a small pair of pliers to undo um, some uh, tie wrap cable ties. Um, you're not removing the actual tie wrap, you're removing the um, the clickies that slip into some brackets that hold the um, cables in place. But uh, hopefully this tutorial helps you and uh, just follow my step-by-step -step instructions and you'll be just fine. We are ready to take out the seat for the uh, hybrid battery replacement. It's uh, right behind this rear panel as you can see. Now the seat itself pops up fairly easily. You just put your hand, well first of all, <clears throat> to help yourself, move your seats all the way forward, um, the front seats, so that you have lots of room to maneuver um, behind the car. You're gonna be sitting in the back here, and you're gonna pop up the, the back seat by pulling up right here. And then you will notice that if you push up, push down right here on the driver's side of the car, you're gonna see a little hook And you're gonna see a little bolt right back in there. See the little middle brace right there? And uh, right next to that middle brace, you're gonna find a 10 millimeter um, bolt with a with like a hook, which actually holds the seat down. You can see it right there, see that? So you're gonna get a 10 millimeter socket with an extension, and you're gonna take that out. All right, now I have the seat out. I'm gonna hand it to my assistant, Owie. Come on, O. Take the seat. Help me out. Good oh. job, my little helper. Okay, now go see, put the seat down right there. There you go, my big helper. Okay, now that we have the seat out, you're oh. gonna find additional hooks on both sides of the rear seat right there. And those are the same, they're gonna have 10 millimeter. Cool back here. And another 10 millimeter bolt holding these seats together. There it is, right there. All right. That's so cool. And this is where the other one was also stationed for the lower seat. You can see the uh, the nut used for holding the rear panel on. It also holds down the bottom seat as well. So there's technically three holding the rear seat down. And a lot of years, a lot of crumbs there. Mm, really? Yeah. Lots of crumbs? Yeah. Yeah. That's from you, buddy. You and Shelby. Eating like burn animals. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Okay, so one of the tricks to getting the seat off is after you get the uh, bolts taken off here from the bottom, you're going to lift up on the whole seat assembly, and there are little hooks that fall back into these little hook enclosures right here. See a little hook? A little hook right here. Well, you can't really see it. I'm sorry, I'm doing this kind of at nighttime. But you can see the little hook enclosures right here. Whoa. They'll slide into these little slots right here into the uh, frame of the car. All right. And you, of course, have the seat belts and all the other stuff in the way. So you're going to have to pull those up, up out of the way and drag the rear seat, rear, rear seat um, outward from there. Now that the rear seat is removed, you're going to be amazed to see this beautiful aluminum looking panel that separates you from the hybrid battery. Now uh, take notice of the interesting sticker here that says uh, high voltage, you will be killed or hurt. Do not remove this cover, no customer service parts inside. Um, yeah, we didn't see that did we? Um, nothing to really worry about, not the first time we replaced a battery in a hybrid. But um, first of all you're going to remove this cover right here which is going to give you access 
to the, um, I believe the on off switch. And then all around the outer edge, you're gonna have these special little um, Torx head bolts. Um, you're gonna have one all the way around the whole edge. And from my kit, I found a T30 for the edge of my little machine right here. A T30 bit will take that off. And so if you just buy a random set of bits, you will find a, a Torx head bit that will fit your application here. Keep in mind a T27 will fit in there loosely, a T30 will fit in there nice and tight, so use a T30. All right, and we'll look, we'll see what the uh, cover looks like after, I, after I, I remove it. Okay, now once you have all the bolts off from your um, cover, you have a couple different hook areas. This is a hook area right here. You have another hook area right over there. Okay, and so when you lift up on the panel, those uh, hook areas will disengage, and you also have a little plastic clip right there. And let me just show you real quick how to remove the little plastic clip. A little screwdriver underneath it, and just pop it out like so. See that? And there's your little plastic clip. All right, so you're gonna remove that by hand. There you go. You can see that I've already um, put the battery in the off position. I removed a plastic red clip that keeps that from popping down while you are driving. That plastic red clip is very important. Put it off to the side. You will be reinstalling that with your new battery. And now that the little plastic clip that I just removed is now gone, you will be able to lift up the cover and um, get access to the battery. Now the cover is exposed, you can, well removed, now it exposes the battery. This is the hybrid battery right here, a big black box with all these fun orange wires uh, running to it. Um, if you read on the label right here, it says uh, remove ignition key and shut off main, main switch, which we have done. Um, it also says to check voltage at junction uh, board terminal, which would be this thing right here, um, to make sure that you have zero volts, which we have done. Um, zero volts. Now take into account that your positive wire runs to the top, negative wire runs to the bottom. Now you have a multitude of wires um, running to the uh, actual battery itself. There's an upper main harness here that has three quick disconnect connectors running to it as you can see right here. So you're going to disconnect those. You're going to disconnect one of these at a time. Um, negative first, positive after that. And then you're going to run down here and you're going to see this harness that has a little black clip right there. You're going to disconnect that clip from the back side so that it pulls away. And if you follow that harness over here, there's a quick disconnect thing right here. You're going to disconnect that harness as well from this little silver box. And then you're going to run all the way down here and you're going to see an additional harness that also clips into your battery. All right. So those are all the harnesses that you have to worry about. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five, and then your two lugs, six, seven, that you're gonna be worried about. So there's seven total connections plus a ground, which is right there, 10 millimeter. You're gonna remove that ground as well. And don't forget about the plastic clip. After you've done that, 12 millimeter socket right there to remove the battery right there and then way down under here you're gonna see another 12 millimeter socket where is that there it is right there right there and right there so those are the uh, main connection points for this battery that's what you need to disconnect and you're gonna have to follow the same um, reconnection um, applications now when they say to check continuity they mean on this main board terminal right here from here to here you're checking for voltage um, or amperage or whichever one you wanna you wanna look at and check to make sure that it's at zero, which it is after you uh, put your switch to off. All right, and then you can remove your battery and replace it with a new one. All right, one quick little uh, thing that I missed. Before you pull out the battery, you got this little um, retention clip of some kind right here. This little bad boy right here. What I did is I loosened him. Um, this retention clip comes around and clips onto the plastic flange here. I guess it's just a safety thing should the bolts vibrate out. This is like the last 
resort to keep the battery from going forward or maybe it's for crash tests who knows but that needs to be loosened so what I did is I loosened it I spun this up here like this and then I tightened it okay that will keep you from taking the battery out so if you start pulling on it like a crazy man that's what is keeping your battery from coming out also I forgot to mention one additional clip um, right here for this uh, for this particular harness right here it uh, clips up at the bottom right here so there's two different clip positions for this harness right here and then again right here as well all right so now we are ready to pull out the battery and we'll put the new one back in okay we got the new battery in place and it really helps to have a extra helping set of hands this battery weighs roughly 70 pounds and the way how I got this thing in here is I had my little helper Oe hold the seat belt seat belt back for me like this so that I could uh, put it into place and I placed one foot inside the car like this and then one foot on the outside of the car like this and just hunched over I laid the battery right here and then I picked it up and what I did is I put the battery in on an angle coming in here and what I tried to do is I tried to get the quick disconnect things right here I tried to get the battery behind all these so these don't get pushed behind and so put it in on a slight angle get all this crap out of the way just kind of nudge it out of the way with as you put the battery in and before you uh, bolt the battery in just make sure that all your your connectors and all your stuff is uh, is all out of the way you got your grounding strap there and everything like that and once you're satisfied with all that another good tip would be to take a picture of your serial number so that you have it for your records you never know if you uh, have any warranty issues or anything else like that if uh, you lose the paperwork or whatever depending on what uh, company you deal with for your hybrid battery wouldn't hurt to, t to take a picture of it have it for your records um, not only that but you will also have a uh, take a picture where you have a date on your camera so that you know the exact day that you replaced the uh, hybrid battery so that you can say that on this day I replaced it and you uh, promised me this many years or miles or whatever and you'll have uh, photographic evidence of the exact day that the battery is installed in your um, car. In my case my battery ended up dying on me I kid you not two weeks before my three-year um, my three-year uh, warranty was up so this is actually a warranty replacement battery um, the company s stood by their word um, I don't think they intended I don't think they knew that I intended on putting 90,000 miles in three years in my car. Um, maybe and plus I live up in Northeast uh, in the Northeast so it's pretty cold up here so maybe just the mix between the cold weather and the car driving literally every single day 90,000 miles in three years is yeah, it's a pretty decent amount, but uh, good company. They stood by their warranty. Um, I kept all my numbers, and uh, they were nice enough to send me out a, another battery. Um, and uh, very good people to deal with. So uh, just a couple tips for you. Um, and again, installation is the reverse of uh, removal. Pretty simple. Just remember where all your bolts go for your seats and your hooks. And uh, this is how you uh, replace your hybrid battery. Just keep in mind that the only thing that you can really kind of technically mess up a little bit is this right here. Positive goes on top, negative goes on bottom. Just remember that. And uh, connect all of your uh, quick disconnect electrical fittings and you should be all set. Best of luck to you. This is for a 2003 to 2005 Honda Civic hybrid battery replacement. I wish you the best of luck and enjoy your car.